Hello, everyone. Today, I wanted to share with you something that happened to me. Very real. And it was based on Psalm 16 and verse 8. It's actually a verse of scripture that I was eating this past week. And as I was eating this verse of scripture, I think it actually culminated into what took place actually yesterday. So let me read to you from the book of Psalm, chapter 16, verse 8. And I'm going to show you what happened to me yesterday by eating this verse of scripture. We'll show you the difference between reading and eating. Psalm 16 and 18 Excuse me, Psalm 16 and 8. I have sent the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. The difference between reading of the word and eating of a word is when you read the word, you don't really internalize it. Okay? You just read over it and you understand it intellectually, right? However, it doesn't really sink down into your spirit and work its way out in your life. Does that make sense? When you eat the word of God, you are internalizing it. You're going over and over again. You're chewing it like you do food, right? You don't just bite down on a steak one time and then swallow it. You'll choke, right? And so you eat that verse of scripture throughout the week, maybe throughout the month. One verse, maybe throughout the year, okay? Remember, God's word is eternal and it will never get old because nothing eternal gets old. And so I was doing this throughout the week and I had a discussion with my business partner. I sure did. It was a discussion, shall we say, that was prayer preparation heavy, right? Heavy prayer preparation into this discussion. And it could have been heated, you know? It, we could have gone back and forth. Why did you do this? Why did, they, oh, why, why did you sell that house? Why did you, you know what I mean? It could have gone like that. But let me tell you what happened. As this person was talking, as my business partner was talking to me, I could have taken what he said wrongly. I'm talking about super wrongly. But as I looked to my right, I saw Jesus Christ. <laughs> right? So as I was looking to my right, my face was like, and then as I turned, guess who I saw? Jesus Christ. And at that moment, at that moment, my brain started rewiring. Instead of getting offended, it got respectful. It got loving. It changed the whole environment of the talk. And Jesus Christ was between my business partner and me. Right? And it was like Jesus was doing the filtering so that what they were saying, I wasn't getting offended. And what I was doing they weren't getting distracted because my eyes were like this. You know what I mean? It was amazing. But let's read that verse again. Remember, I told you that I saw Jesus Christ on my right hand. And when I turned, I also saw him on in front of me, in front of me. Psalm 16 and verse 8. What does it say? Remember what it says? Watch this, watch this. You're going to want to read this, okay? You're going to want to internalize this. I have set the Lord always before me, in front of me, <laughs> because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. I shall have stability. And that talk, that conversation was stable. Because Jesus Christ was before me. And my right hand. 
Now, of course, I didn't see him physically like John did in Revelation, but my brain was rewired to imagine him right there. And it changed my whole outlook, my whole conversation. Folks, you need to start eating the word. Get it in your system and you'll see your life improve. You'll see the eternal purpose of God be manifest in your life. God bless you. God loves you. God smiles when he sees you.